Hey y'all, happy Monday morning. Hope y'all had a good weekend. I think it was mostly dry, wasn't it? Um, it was definitely mostly hot here in Myrtle Beach, but um, we had a pretty good weekend um, overall. Good morning, Kelly. So this morning I'm gonna try this milk paint for the very first time. Has anybody let me know when you come on if um, you've tried milk paint before. This is my first time ever. I've never used it at all. So we're going to try and start out on this jar. Because milk paint gives you that chippy finish without doing really any work other than painting with it. Um, it says on the package to mix equal parts, water and the paint. And you want to be careful not to mix up more than what you're going to use because it does go bad. So you have to use it while it's mixed. And then you seal it the same way as you do chalk paint or any other paint. You can use the wax or polyacrylic, any kind of water-based sealer or whatever, whatever your top coat of choice is. So this color is called Iceberg. And what I'm going to do is just have a little, I think this is like a plant liner that I have a bunch of these. I'm just going to mix this up and see what we got. I have my little measuring spoons. These are not going to be used for anything other than this after this point. These are just little cheap Dollar Tree ones that I got, um, but I wouldn't use anything out of the kitchen if you're going to keep using it. Although this stuff is you know, it says that it's non-toxic. I still don't want to mix my food with my paint, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to do two tablespoons and see what happens. I have a little chair sitting over here I plan on using with it too, but I wanted to practice on the vase. Um, come on. This is the same brand of the paint that I was using the other day, Junk Monkey Paint Company, and... This is the milk paint. So we got two tablespoons of the milk paint. See, it just looks like, well, with this color, it looks like baby powder, but it's not. It's not baby powder. It doesn't have any scent to it. So that's nice, because I don't know about y'all, but I do not like smelly paint. I'm not very tolerant. I'm very scent sensitive in that way. So if something's smelly, I do not use it. So then I got I just have some I just have some tap water here. So I'm gonna do equal parts. So I'm gonna do two tablespoons of water. Set this over here where I'm not gonna hit it and spill it. And then I have my little my little handy dandy little whisk. We'll stir it up and see what happens. I've seen lots of people in tutorials and things using milk paint, but never have bought any, never have tried it. I know they have some um, milk paint like at Michael's and AC Moore. Boo, AC Moore, I miss them. Um, but it's liquid, so that's not true milk paint. True milk paint comes in this powder form, and then you have to mix it up. And they do have, um, also have like a, a bonding agent that helps it, I think, to, to cover better and not have as much of a chippy finish. But if you're using it for the purpose of a chippy finish, let it do its thing, and it just happens naturally. So I'm excited to see what's going to happen. This might be another new favorite, right? Hashtag just paint. Also, we have some very, very exciting, really big, exciting, big, exciting, big changes coming. It's a secret. Shh, I can't tell you yet, but I'll be telling you next week. So make sure and sprinkle my videos and I'm trying to decide I want to um that looks like it's pretty pretty mixed up I think I'm gonna do a giveaway when we give our big news 
we're gonna do a giveaway. And I think what I wanna do, um, I wanna try to get people to also start watching my videos on my YouTube channel. Um, I think there's a few things you can do over there that you can't do over here and vice versa, but things will be shared in both places. But I think I wanna do my giveaway on my YouTube channel. So be sure I'll drop the link in the comments after this and be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you won't miss out on the giveaway. But um, I promise you're gonna like it and you're gonna be so excited. We are so excited. I can't say I was so excited last night that I couldn't sleep because I'm fortunate in that I don't have problems sleeping. So. See if y'all can guess what the big news is. Wanna take in guesses of what our news is? What changes are gonna be taking place? New things, new projects. Okay, so I'm just using the, just a cheap little chippy brush. These are the ones you get at, you can get Home Depot, Walmart, anywhere. I get mine at Harbor Freight. Um, I think you pay like $12 for a whole case of them, but they have them for 50, 75 cents, something like that, I'm not sure. Um, but you can just use a cheap chip brush, right? Because you just want a chippy finish. But, our finish ain't gonna look cheap, is it? So then I'm just gonna paint it just on down on the inside. This is pretty thick too. I might should have added more water, but we're gonna see what happens with this. Because it says that it should look like a milkshake. That's like a frosty more than a milkshake. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more water. We're gonna do this on this inside. I'm not gonna tell you if your guesses are right, but I'm gonna make one exception for Kelly. That is not it. <laughs> I like being at home and I like having the freedom to um, take Patrick to school, which he's gonna be driving soon, and I like the freedom to be able to go and do um, things when things pop up. So the brick and mortar kind of ties you down you know, which you never know. That might be something that's in our future if um, the timing and the place is right, but um, that's not it just yet. That'd be cool to have a, a storefront and be able to have everything there because everything being here, that is the, the you are special. <laughs> that is the one thing about working at home is you never leave work, but that's okay. I'm pretty good about not working all the time, depending on what's going on, because um, our our family time is is not something that's negotiable. And our evenings and our weekends are. That's why we don't really do craft fairs, because it takes up so much of our our weekend, and that's the only time that we all get to just slow down and be together, or not be slow, but still be together. You know what I mean? So, anyway, I think that's a better consistency now. So, let's see what happens. I think the other one was too thick, but, so I'm not sure what the inside of that's gonna look like. But that's why I'm practicing on the vase. Let me move my camera. There's the bottom of the curio I was working on the other day. I just finished um, putting my top coat on it. I don't know if you can see over here, this dark spot is where the tannins in the wood are coming through the paint and the sealer. Sometimes that happens after you paint and put your sealer. Um, so I'll have to put, go back in on that part and put some um, stain blocker and then seal it again. But that's okay. There's a fix for everything, right? All right. So. I'm not going to really try to do like a complete where you can't see the vase under it. I'm just going to kind of slap it on here and see what happens. 
I'm not really even sure how long this is supposed to take to dry. Kelly, have you ever used milk paint before? Also, I wanted to tell y'all this week, I'm not sure which day or evening, there's a bristle. A, hey, brush bristle. Um, what day of the week, it, or it's going to be this week, but I'm going to be in preparation for our um, big news to be announced and big changes coming. I'm cleaning out, doing a massive clean out, and I'm going to do a... Um, First time you've heard of it, um, I'm going to be doing a massive clean out and going to be doing a stash sale. So be watching for that video and be sure and invite your friends to watch that because there's some pretty good stuff going to be on there, I think. I know I have a ton of canvases that I'm just not using and they're taking up real estate in my studio so I need to get those out of there so if you know anybody that paints on canvas be sure and let them know to be watching a lot of um, people that flip furniture use milk paint to get the chippy finish so I may have still got it too thick but we'll see. Okay, so this is what it looks like now. Now, I didn't like paint it completely, but let's see what it's gonna look like when it dries. Now, right there, that part, see where it's separating right there? That part, I did cover that part good. So it's already starting to work and I've got the fan going. Hopefully the fan's not disrupting to the video. I have, I knew, I do also have some, um, in my, even though I don't sew, I have some, like, vintage sewing boxes, like the, the plastic cases that had all the sewing tools and accessories. I have some of that stuff, too, so that's probably going to be in it, because I don't really need to hold on to that stuff. I like that kind of stuff, um... I like old stuff. Anything old, I'm tempted to get it. But anyway, that's probably going to be in it too. Um, no, Kelly, this is not glass. It's plastic. But this milk paint does work on glass. Like if I have a, um, a blue glass vase in there, then I might try doing it on too to see how it works on glass. But it's um, any surface that is glossy or shiny, like some of the furniture that has a really slick finish, um, this has the same effect on that. I think the, the glossier and shinier the, the foundation, the more chippy. Um, I think um, this is, can you see the little ballerina monkey? She calls her Miss Petunia. And she says that with the milk paint, Miss Petunia acts up. So she does her thing, whatever she wants to do. So let's see what's going to happen with this vase and I'll, um, I'll post pictures of it later after it gets dry and see what happens. And now I got to go in my studio and get to work. I told Jonathan this morning that I was going to go in there and not leave until I'm done because I have no workspace at the moment. Just been carrying stuff in and trying to figure things out and it's overwhelming. So today's the day it's got to go. I have a couple of Etsy orders I need to work on, so I've got to clear off some workspace so I can get my work done. And also, because we have big news coming, something's going to be coming next week. Don't forget, share and invite your friends, and I'll post the link from my YouTube channel. Please subscribe over there, and um, anybody that you know that enjoys the DIYs, whether it be furniture or smaller craft things or 
um, silhouette projects. I don't have my Cricut anymore, but if somebody has questions about the Cricut, I can probably try to help. And I can do any videos anybody wants to request. So let's try to, to build that video collection over there and get things going. Y'all have a good day. Happy Monday. Bye.